Jim Oxen. It's been a, a good 12 months, is not it? It's a, a long way from uh, the end of the 2011 season, celebrations here at Chelmsford. Yeah, very much so. As you say, a disappointment last year at this time, but obviously we're delighted uh, you know, with this season. The lads have been fantastic throughout the summer. Um, you know, it's been encapsulated in, in this game here, you know, an outstanding performance to finish the season, you know, on a high. The appointment of um, Paul Farbrace and Jason Gillespie to come into your coaching staff has made a huge difference. Yeah, you know, they've been fantastic. Obviously, it was a difficult winter with all the changes that were made. Um, but as you say, I'm delighted, you know, with, with Jason and Paul coming in. Obviously, with Richard Dams and, and the Hindus as well, they played their part. But, you know, we've worked really well as a team and hopefully we've given the support the players need to go out and show their skills. And in your senior role in the coaching de um, department, you seem to be the only person not covered in beer at the moment, so there are advantages of that, aren't there? That's only because I've been away doing BBC <laughs> Radio, so I'm, not, I'm sure they'll uh, make up for that in the next few minutes. How would you sum up this summer, though? It's, you know, basically, it's gone to script, hasn't it? It has pretty much. Um, you know, obviously, we've had a lot of frustrations with the weather and you know, a few games maybe we, we would have won without being, being stopped by the weather. Um, but the lads have stuck to the task. You know, we set out from, from day one to get promotion uh, and we've achieved that. And, you know, particularly over the last three games, when, when you're under pressure to win those games, you know, the lads have, have performed brilliantly and, and have won those last three matches to make sure we get up. And the 2020 campaign was, was outstanding, you know, only falling at the final hurdle, which was, was obviously a bit of a disappointment. But, um, you know, it was a great day and a great achievement by the players. Jason Gillespie, you've achieved many things in your career. Now as a coach, you've taken Yorkshire up. That must be uh, right up there. Yeah, no question. Uh, you know, I, I enjoyed a uh, wonderful career um, as a player. I feel very, very fortunate to have had the career that I had as a player. And now I'm starting out as a coach. I've only been a coach for the last few years and I've really enjoyed it. And this has certainly highlighted my coaching career, no it, question. It was always the aim of the summer, wasn't it? Championship promotion. So to get it in the final game of the season, it couldn't go any better than that, could it? It's been fantastic. Correct. And uh, considering the season we've had, it's been a challenging season, uh, to say the least. Um, but to be able to, uh, for these players, to be able to stand on that balcony there, um, knowing that they're in Division 1 is... Um, you know, it's testament to them. Your boys, Glamorgan, did you a, a massive favour the other <laughs> season there as a player. They did really well against Kent and that really, was really what secured your promotion. Yeah, yeah the Glamorgan boys, uh, you know, they, uh, they, they looked after us there. You know, I thought they played some wonderful cricket against Kent. Kent, very good side, um, but they performed well and, um, and got over the line and, and certainly helped us out. Two players to pick out on the performance in Chelmsford. One was Azim Rafiq, who basically in every single inning of the match, he did something. Three wickets in the first innings, five in the second, 50 in both innings. He was absolutely superb. He's a serious player and, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, he, you know, the world's his oyster, so to speak. And uh, he's just, uh, I think he's got a very mature head on his shoulders as a, as a cricketer. Um, and he's shown... And you know this season, just uh, what a good cricketer he really is. It was quite fitting at the end that Steve Patterson took the last two wickets. He's taken 48 in the championship this year, and he's been you know consistently good all the way through. He has, and I think it's uh, you know he's pitched the ball up a bit further this year. Um, you know, Steve, I, I remember uh, playing with Steve uh, here a number of years ago uh, when I was a pro here at Yorkshire, and, and it always did a job. And he. Um, but you know he, he's just taken a step up this year and has really uh, stamped himself as a as a uh, proper first class cricketer. And uh, just to to see him the way he gets his wickets this year has been very telling. He's he's got guys out on the front foot, and that's something that that he's really worked on over the years. So that's why it, it's so pleasing to see him do well. And your um, Twitter hashtag for the whole season has been hashtag strong unit. Apart from picking those two out here, you look back through the season and that's exactly what you've had. Look, uh, to win uh, win trophies, you, you need a group of players that are all working together. And you know, cricket, you know, is is a team game built up, made up of individuals who have to do their job. And uh, you know, I think you know, you get that right mix of you know, getting getting your game sorted within the team, and you know, you have a strong unit, which is what we've got here at Yorkshire. Finally, we've seen Callum, the bus driver, do 100 uh, metres in just under 20 seconds, I think it was, in the end. <laughs> um, we've seen beer poured over everybody. We've seen the smiles on the Yorkshire faces. Yorkshire players know how to party. It's going to be a good night. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. We'll just, uh, just look to have a, have a night out. The boys have earned it. They've earned the right. 
um, so that they can do whatever they want um, and, and enjoy themselves because they, they, they absolutely deserve it. They've done uh, wonderfully well. Many congratulations. Thanks very much. You know, we've, I think we've worked really, really hard and I'm just so happy that today we can... Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, fantastic. Uh, we've done everything. Uh, we've been unbeaten throughout the year and uh, we've won games uh, for the last few weeks under some serious pressure. And uh, if them two days at Sc uh, Scarborough when it was raining. Um, <laughs>